Romans chapter 10. Verse 16 and it reads, But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who have believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Heavenly Father. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily, the sound went into all the earth and their words into the end of the world. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all your sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here for a bear. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? The scriptures are basically saying Israel heard the word. Have they not heard? Yes, verily. Yes, truly. Their sound went into all the earth by way of the internet. Everybody on the planet of the earth pretty much got um, access to to the internet and the majority of our people you see what they do when they turn on their phones when they turn on their laptops the last thing they think about is taking heed to this word even listening to the word that's 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 not even the last thing that they're thinking about they, they don't truly believe in the bible uh, and, and we didn't came to the conclusion the conclusion the realization according to the spirit of yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, that the majority of our people, they don't want to get up out of here. They don't want to get up out of Babylon the Great. They don't want to get delivered. Our people, just, they want to stay here. They're not crying out to the Lord. They're not sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That's why this word is only for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. He have care for his elect, right? Let's get it again. Romans chapter 10. The trumpet is being blown, Israel. The sound has went forth. Let's get it again. Romans chapter 10, verse 16. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Just, just, just hearers of the word, not doers. They ain't obeying the gospel. The Israelites are not obeying the gospel. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they can care less, man. They can care less what we're talking about. Because as the scriptures say, um, if you were of the world, the world love his own. But we are not of the world. Therefore, the world heareth us not. Yeah, the scriptures say, they are of the world. Therefore, the world heareth them. Ye are not of the world. Therefore, the world heareth you not, man. So the gospel that we're bringing, our people are worldly. They ain't thinking about what we're talking about. But this word has went forth, right? Romans chapter 10, verse 16. But they have not all, all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Isaiah, right? Lord, who have believed our report? And then going right back to Isaiah chapter 6, starting at verse 9, I'm thinking. It says, if you just keep reading now, the Lord's got spiritual, um, got angels spiritually blocking our people from receiving this word, man. Yeah, it truly is. A, when you truly think about it, man, it's scary. It truly is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. The only thing that's going to keep our people stable, the Lord is blocking them from getting it. Taking heed to this word will, will get you delivered and saved. And the Lord got our people pretty much, got, the, got them blocked from receiving it, man. It's scary, man. So then faith coming by hearing. And hearing, and my, and my pad chimed in. So faith coming by hearing, right? And hearing by the word of the Heavenly Father. So we heard the word, and then the Lord gave us that gift of faith. That, that's what the scriptures are saying. So faith cometh by hearing. And I, and I most definitely I most definitely got to get that um that Hebrews. I'm gonna get that, Lord willing. But I say, have they not heard? Because you're gonna have people say, I didn't hear it. All, all kind of excuses are gonna come out of the cut. I didn't hear it. Well, where was y'all at? 
What, what, what was y'all YouTube channels and all this other nonsense, right? But I say, have they not heard? Have the Israelites not heard this word? Yes, verily, yes, truly. Their sound went into all the earth and their words unto the ends of the world. And I don't want to get this by way of the internet. And I don't want to get this. I think it's Hebrews, right? Let's see. Bear, bear with me. Let's see. Is it Hebrews 4? I think I think that's what it is. Yep. Yep. Hebrews, the water, yeah, how will Baha Shem, I'm sure the missiles going to rain down on this place soon come. Martial law going to kick in. Anarchy, famine, race wars, class wars, civil wars. And, and what we speak of, it takes faith to believe in it. That's the thing about it. It takes faith to believe in the words that are faithful and true. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1, it reads, Let us therefore fear. Least a promise being left of us entering into his rest, into the chariots. The Israelites that are not fearing this word, you ain't entering into the chariots. You're not getting delivered, man. Any of you should seem to come short of. For unto us was the gospel preached, meaning the good news, right? For unto us, the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, was the gospel preached. Remember, the scripture said, faith cometh by hearing. So when we heard the gospel being preached, the Lord gave us the gift of faith to believe in it, right? For unto God, and remember, Noah heard the word, he moved with fear. We heard the word, we move with fear, right? I, I might have to get that too. For unto us was the gospel preached, meaning taught, as well as unto them. The majority of our people, the, the word was taught to them too. They heard the same thing that we heard. But the word, the words coming out of the Bible, but the word preached, aka taught, did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. You see? <clears throat> so this word can't profit you unless you have the gift of faith to believe in it. Well, once again, this word can't profit you unless you have been given the gift of faith to believe in it and to take heed to it. Can't just be hearers of the word. Got to be doers also. And there's another scripture that I wanted to bring out. Just, just bear with me while I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, I, I want to bring out Noah. Let's get that right quick. Let's get Noah right quick. Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7, and it reads, By faith, remember, faith coming by hearing, right? By faith, Noah, our forefather. Remember the time of the flood? By faith, Noah being warned of the heavenly father, of things not seen as yet. The Lord told him what was going to happen before it even happened. He told him he was going to flood the place. Noah heard the word and then instantly he gave him the gift of faith to believe in it. Just like what I just read and I'm saying in Hebrews the fourth chapter verse two. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the gospel, the good news preached, did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. But, 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 but for our forefather Noah, Hebrews chapter 11 verse seven reads, by faith Noah, being warned of the heavenly father, of things not seen as yet, the Most High Yahweh been prophesying. You see, move with fear. You see, remember we read earlier, fear, 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 least you not enter into that rest. Right? Noah feared. He moved with fear. He heard the word. He moved with fear. He got off his ass, man. You see. He got to move on. He started building an ark. He was one of our people at the same time. Because remember going right back to Ezekiel um, 33. It says, if, if, if you know that the sword is coming, then you go blow that trumpet and you warn the people. And, and whosoever take if not heed to the trumpet, their blood going to be upon their own head. Because they heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, right? It says he prepared an ark to the saving of his house by the which he condemned the world. He prophesied against them, right? Same thing Jeremiah said, right? And became heir of righteousness, which is by faith, right? So so, so, so we get it. When we bring these words out, we, we, we get it. And as a matter of fact, I don't want to get Ezekiel. Let's get Ezekiel right quick. Matter of fact, let's, let's get the third chapter first. Matter of fact, we'll get, we'll get two. Get the second chapter right quick. 
This is Ezekiel chapter 2. That fire, that fire rises, Israel. That fire rises. Ezekiel chapter 2. Let's see, bear with me. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 3, and it reads, And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, a people before some place, to a rebellious nation, that have rebelled, meaning fought against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this day, August, the month of August, 2024. You call it 2024, I call it 2024, right? They're still fighting against the words of the Lord. For they are imprudent, they are impudent children, and stiff-hearted, just hard-headed, as all know what, right? I do send thee unto them. The Lord said, yeah, I know they're hard-headed, they're rebellious, they're going to fight against the words, but I need you to go out there and give them this message, regardless, right? And thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and they, whether they were here, or whether they will forbear, so it doesn't matter, you see, for they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them, right? So, so when it when it go down, the end all be it all, they're gonna know that a prophet had been among them, right? Let's, let's, let's go to the 33rd chapter. Cause, Cause look, this is our job. Matter of fact, let's go here. Matter of fact, I want to I go here. Let's go here. Second Timothy. Second Timothy chapter. Second Timothy chapter four, verse two, and it reads: Preach the word, teach the word. Remember that gospel, right? Be instant in season, out of season. Weather permits. Reprove, meaning correct. What do we correct, correct our people with? The words of the Bible, the same thing is correcting us, the same thing is reproving us. We got to take heed to it too, right? Rebuke. Sometimes you might come off kind of harsh. You might even use rude speech. It's all part of the job. Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts, shall they heap to us after their own wicked desires. Shed the heap to themselves. Teachers have an itching ears. Uh, that's the only thing our people want. Somebody to tell them something smooth. They don't want nobody to tell them that war is coming. Chaos is coming. Mayhem is coming. Civil war, civil unrest. The economy is going to crash. They don't want to hear that. World War Three. This devil's going to make it mandatory. They take it an implantable device soon come in order to buy or sell. This place is going to burn soon come. Our people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that they can't celebrate the cousins of the heathen. They can't celebrate Christmas, their birthday, Thanksgiving, Easter, President's Day. They don't want to hear that. You see? The Lord said, look, it's a time is going to come where they will not endure sound doctrine. That's now. You see? But they're going to, teach, they're going to heap to themselves teachers having an inch of ears, anything that, uh, that tickles their fancy, right? It says, um, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And that's going to be on them. And the truth represents us blowing the trumpet, bringing this word out. Our people are going to turn their ears away from that, right? And shall be turned unto fables, lies. Our people want to hear lies. Why do you think they fill, they fill them churches up every week? Because they want lies, man. You see? Why you think those false other Israelite groups got a, got a large following? Because our people want lies, man. All right? Social media Israelites. The majority of these Israelite groups, they're nothing but social media Israelites. And, and our people love that. The glitz and the clamor. You see? Uh, what was the other word? Um, glitz, glamour. I forgot the other word. Escapes me. It, it might come back in a few. But but you see the majority of our people, what they into? Nonsense. Nonsense. Nothing has to do, nothing that has anything to do with salvation, right? I, the word the word escapes me though. But it's all good though. You see? Matter of fact, let's just get this. Let's just get this. Entertainment Israelites. St. Luke chapter 10. 
And, and remember what the scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice. So the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, they're going to hear the true service of the Lord. The scriptures say, a stranger they will not follow. All right? These men, this coming with wayward doctrines, false philosophies. The whole elect of the nation of Israel, if they are following them, the Lord will put the spirit on them to get away from them. Eventually, St. Luke chapter 10, verse 16, and it reads, He that heareth you, heareth me. So, so starting off with the elder apostles slash elder bishops, the great millstone, when we are down the highway with them byways, the people that take heed to what we're saying, you're really taking heed to what Yahweh Shai is saying. Because the Lord is speaking through us. He that heareth you, heareth me. And he that despises of you, despises of me. So the people that hate us, they really don't hate us. They hate the Lord. Just remember that, Israel. And the Lord just um, deleted, you know what I'm saying, that woman, that former um, um, YouTube, you know what I'm saying, um, CEO. The former head of YouTube, the Lord de deleted her, man. Just know that, yeah, Hawa Bahashem Yahweh Shai deleted the former CEO of YouTube. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, right? And he that despises me, despises of him that sent me. And this red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they even call Jesus, this place going to burn soon come. And you people ain't got to listen. You, you Israelites ain't got to listen. Well, look, well, so I, I, I want to read this. Let's just get this right quick. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. Got to be walking around with your head on a swivel, Israel, paying attention to everything in your surroundings. You got you to gotta know what's going on, Israel. Can't be walking around like fools, like blockheads, like jackasses, not knowing what's going on. You got to walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Why do you think the Lord got us out there blowing that trumpet? Because the days are evil, man. Matter of fact, let's just get this. Let's just get this. You got these puppet leaders telling you that everything's all good. All here, the doors are closing in, and, you, and somebody, somebody's still lying to you, telling you that it's all good, and you believe in them. Let's get this, man. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil, meaning the bad times, and hideth himself within the comforter, but the simple passed on and are punished. And that's the majority of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You simple as all know what. And you will be punished eventually. You will be punished eventually. You're going to lose that job soon come, all right? That place of residence, you're going to lose that soon come, all right? That little money that you still got in your bank account, you're going to lose that. You're going to lose everything, and you're going to lose your damn mind. And guess who it's going to be on? It's going to be on you. Remember, remember, Israel, you didn't listen, all right? You won't walk in circumspectly. You just walk around like a fool, you see? Yeah, that's all that's all you want to do. And, and you look real tacky out here. The majority of you Israelites, you look real tacky out here, man. Let's see what else. Before I roll, I, I read earlier that Hosea um, 4 and 6 on my last lesson. Our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. And we went into captivity. Because we, we refuse to take heed to this word. Scriptures goes to that. Uh, you went into captivity because because of um, pretty much when you had this knowledge, pretty much. You see? Only thing Israel won't want to hear is some damn stupid music, yo. That's all they want. Let's get this. Zechariah chapter 14. The Lord just said, give him one, give him one from me. Zechariah chapter 14. Zechariah chapter 14. Verse, uh, let's see. Bear with me. Let's get this. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. And it reads, and this shall be the plague. So going into the missiles, right? Wherein the Lord was smite. Wherein the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai was smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem, a people before us a place. 
their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. I mean, Israel, you're not hearing what's coming. Noah warned you of a flood. We're warning you of fire. That's, that's what it is. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. That's the first movie that comes to my mind. And before this, you got to worry about uh, a time like you, you go watch the movie Bushwick. The movie The Road. You, you and you Great Millstone. You and y'all movies. Okay. The Purge. The Hunger Games. You got to worry about all that, Israel. It's going to get rough out here. And you ain't going to have no help. You ain't going to have nowhere to run. You ain't going to have nobody to call on. It's just going to be you and the elements. It's going to be you and Sleazy E. You and the Spirit's Creative Revenge. You and the tornadoes. You and the earthquakes. You and the storms. You and the fires. All that. You and famine. And then you and this right here. That flesh that can swim away while they stand upon their feet. What's going to do that? That nuclear fire? It says, and their eyes shall consume away uh, in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. No more talking nothing. No more, no more talking some vacation time and the trips and all that. In this day, the last thing you're going to be thinking about is a damn vacation. All right? Going to the Cayman Islands and all that other BS. You ain't going to be thinking about that. You're going to be thinking about trying to get the hell out of Dodge, man. Because the Lord going to turn up that heat. And it's going to be a beautiful thing. And remember, think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. And I, I must be allowed to get this. Acts chapter 28. Acts chapter 28. Acts chapter 28, verse 24. And it reads, And some believe the things which were spoken, and some believe not. Remember, have they not heard? Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth. And since I read that, I might as well read this. I might as well go here. St. Matthew 24. Let's get that. Say, remember, shall the trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? St. Matthew chapter 24. Let's get this. St. Matthew 24 and 14, 144. And this gospel, meaning this good news of the kingdom, shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, because Israelites have been scattered among these different heathens, right? And then shall the end come. This word has went forth throughout the four corners of the earth by way of internet. That's why you got brothers out there in Tanzania. You got brothers out there in Germany, um, Alaska, Jamaica. Um, the Philippines, you name it. I, I can't even name all the spots. You got Israelites throughout the four corners of the earth believing in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Remember, faith, faith shall flourish, right? And corruption shall be overcome with this word. This corruption can't go on too much longer. Remember, the triumphing of the wicked is short. It's, it all comes to an end. It's all coming to an end, Israel, all right? It's all coming to an end, man. Yeah, I just want to throw something out there quick, man. Those that refuse instruction, poverty and shame, Israel. Poverty and shame. Matter of fact, I, I, I want to end it with that. Poverty and shame. Matter of fact, let's, see, let's get that Ciroc right quick. Let's get Ciroc. Let's get Ciroc fire right quick. I ain't read that in a little while. Let's just get that right quick. The Lord wants Ciroc chapter 5 verse 7. It's a, it's a good read, though. You see? The whole thing. Matter of fact, let's start from the top. So Rock chapter 5, verse 1, and it reads, Set not thy heart, meaning your mind, upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. So don't walk around talking about you straight. You good. You don't need the Lord. Because everything that you got today, you could lose it tonight. You could lose it tomorrow. Set not thy heart, meaning your mind, upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. Because that's pride right there. That's pride right there. And pride go up before, and pride go up before destruction in a haughty spirit before a fall, right? It says, and say not, 
who shall control me for my works? Who's going to tell me what to do? Nobody can't, and my watch chimed in, nobody can't tell me what to do. That's how people act. For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. And remember, pride is the beginning of one departing from their maker, right? Say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? I'm doing this, that, and the third. I'm selling drugs. I'm game banging. I'm mocking. I'm scoffing. I'm doing all kind of wicked ish. Ain't nothing happened to me. I'm breaking the laws, statutes, commands of the Bible each and every day. Ain't nothing happened to me. The Lord said, "Don't say that. Look, do not say that, Israel, for the Lord is long suffering. He He will in no wise let thee go. Concerning propitiation." Be not without fear to add sin unto sin. What is sin again? Transgressing of the law. You see? And say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified with the multitude of my sins. Basically, don't go around saying, oh yeah, man, the God of the Bible, he knows my heart. You know what I'm saying? He, he really ain't worried about what I'm doing. Out of all these people on the face of the earth, he really ain't worried about little old me. Don't say that, man. Because remember, the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding the evil and the good, right? What it say? And say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified with the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, the Lord's perfect balance. And his indignation, his righteous anger resteth upon sinners. What is sin again? Transgressing of the law. What it say? The Lord hateth sinners. All right? You got the church that's told us from the God of the Bible, he hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. Where's that found in the Bible? All right? His, the scripture says his indignation, his righteous anger rests upon sinners. Would it say, make no tearing to turn to the Lord? You, this word that went forth, Israel. This word that went forth throughout the four corners of the earth by way of the internet. Make no terror to turn to the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who they even call God and Jesus. And putting that off from day to day. Don't say I get to it tomorrow. When you get to it today. Don't put the Lord off. And that don't even sound right. Putting the Lord off. For what? There's nothing more important than the Lord. It shouldn't be anyway. For suddenly, when you least suspect the Israel, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. And that's exactly what's going to happen to the majority of our people. They're going to perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, so I just wanted to throw something out there, man. The sound of the trumpet being blown, the gospel then went throughout the four corners of the earth. And now the Lord bringing wrath now. The Lord bringing wrath now. You had somebody come on my comment board, you know what I'm saying, yesterday, either yesterday or today, told us uh, they read, they want, they want, um, they want one of them draft papers. Okay. Be careful with your ass. What was it? Holly? I think I think her name was Holly. Okay, Holly, you're gonna get exactly. I don't know if you're a troll. I don't know if you're a bot. You know what I'm saying, but if you're real, Holly, you're gonna receive a letter. And look, don't hear. No, don't, don't want to hear this hooping and hollering. Since I received the letter, I was just joking. You don't joke with the Lord. You joke with your kids. You joke with your friends. You don't joke with the Lord. Had had his lady, this deal door here, come on the comment board. Everything is a joke until it ain't a joke, right? Come on the comment board. So, so I, I wanna um I, I want one of those draft paper. Draft me, send me y'all. Oh, the Lord, the Lord gonna look. Be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you ask for. All right. In thy security, thou should be destroyed and perish. In the day of vengeance, man. The trumpet being blown. Shalom.